What's going on? Man? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Have an interception in every game that you played now. <laughs> hey, let's start off right. It's a good feeling. It's a great feeling, honestly, just to come out here in front of that crowd for a spring game and just do and do the things that I've been doing since high school. So, you know, it's a it's a great feeling, and it was a great jump start. You did do that in high school, though. I mean, it, is it as easy as that is the to come out here and just do what you have done? Is it, it, It's football at the end of the day? Yeah, it's football at the end of the day, but, you know, the nerves get to you. Like, you're playing on a bigger stage than you have your whole high school career, so you're stepping out there just, like, with a new new sense, like a new environment, and, you know, I – I feel like I stepped out there and did did as well as I could. And, I mean, I could have done way better in my opinion. But, you know, I stepped out there and did a really good job. What's the comfort level like, I guess, just as far as processing everything? So I feel like coming from um, the 6A in Texas, I feel like it's it was still like – it was a little bit faster, but it wasn't as com – I mean, complicated calls more. But I feel like it slowed down for me after a little bit and just I got into like a groove and just like kind of felt – kind of felt a rhythm. What did it feel like to the intercept? Oh, it felt amazing, you know, because that's my first collegiate interception. So, like, I'm coming out here, um, I'm coming out here from like a crazy road and just and making that play and just proving myself once again. Hey, it looked like that ball was in the air forever, and you had to wait for it to come down. How did that all develop? Yeah, so I mean, I was just playing my deep, my deep half, and I saw, I saw um, Dylan throw the ball, and I kind of, I started running. I got, I got an Andrell a speed turn, and just tried to find the ball again. And luckily, I did, made a diving catch. Sorry about that. You're good. You mentioned the nerves. Just how much did that really help you settle in after that? I mean, once that ball, once the ball is like, okay, like you're out there, like you get your first hit, like I feel like the nerves kind of like fade a little bit. But the great, all, everyone's nervous. If you don't love the game, you like, you're not nervous. But if you love the game, like really passionate about football, you're, you're everyone's nervous, even the greats. So I mean, you just kind of try and use that and go out there and keep playing your game. Your interception impressed Coach Levy. I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did what did you see from the linebackers? I mean, obviously you, they're, they're in front of you. You're seeing them a lot, but out of Kip and, and some of those guys at that position, they did really good. Because I mean, we're running against the one the one offense, and we we had crucial like we got them to third down multiple times, like on each drive. And the way we play the way we play today as a unit, I think we did really good. Yeah. Do, do you see guys like, I mean, obviously you've got some transfers that are playing in that have mm -hmm. played quite a bit of football. A guy like Reggie, what does he bring to, to the defense? He brings a lot of knowledge. Like, I can go to I can go to him and be like, hey, bro, like, what's – so what's our rules kind of thing, like, throughout the throughout the drive and the game. And that really helps me. And just, like, being, like, that older guy and helping out the young guys, that I really – means a lot to me, honestly. And, um, yeah, so it brings a lot of knowledge and just, like, a lot of comfort. Just like you got that interception, Jackson Arnold gets the touchdown at the mm -hmm. end of the four quarters. How cool was that to see? Nah, it's it's great to see both of us are succeeding and doing our own thing, and like we did our we did our thing out there, we proving ourselves once again. Does it feel a little surreal, just both you guys being out on the field today? I know it's a spring game. Does yeah, nah, surreal? I mean obviously because you you trying to try and you dream of this position, like people dream of this position all along. You're like living it, and it feels really good. The only thing that was missing was the uh, cannon that they would fire off at Geyer games after touchdowns. <laughs> the big <laughs> horn. The yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got the, what's it called? The cannons. We got, yeah, the guns, yeah, we, got yeah, those, yeah. we got those. So, I mean, that's a close. Something. It's like close. That, yeah. <laughs> what was your perspective on the scoring system? Was it hard to keep up with? I mean, a little bit. They kind of like they stopped giving us points after like second quarter because we take we were taking off with it. So. <laughs> you did two out, yeah. You Man, did two like, out. I was because I was I was like, why are they coming back? I was like, we're not even getting points for nothing no more. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. We still got the win at the end of the day, and um, we took care of business. You're on pace to score two hundred. Oh yeah, I know. We was we was smacking. <laughs> <laughs> what winning team get? <sighs> we got like a white a white shirt. A uh, black hat and then um, some eleven. I think Jordan eleven low grays, cool okay. grays, something like that. I'm not a big sneakerhead, so yeah. I couldn't tell you the names. For sure. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of springboard can just this close the book on spring, push you into the summer? What does that do for you guys? It's going to be a great teaching tape. Like I'm, I'm going to learn what I need to pick up on and improve on. Just like little things, like my technique and stuff can still get way better and just try and utilize that, like all this film from the spring game and just improve my game and come into, come into the season with a new perspective on things and just play my game.
you and Jackson are roommates. What were the feelings going into the game? Was there any nerves or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you're going to be nervous if you love playing the game of football, but like you try, you try and just be cool with it, like because we're not, we're not going to talk like crazy to each other. Like we have to come, <laughs> we have to come home to each other at the end of the night, and so. It's it's a good feeling though, like just being like just being out there, like getting the nerves out and just playing ball. So is smack talk off the table for you too on the field? It's not off the table, but I mean, like I never got to hit him. Still won't, but like, <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 cool. Like I picked him off in practice before, but I didn't really like say nothing about it because I didn't want him to like dot me up the next day and be like, oh, you just got like so. I keep it to myself. Or like spit in your cereal. Like, like, <laughs> spit in my cereal, yeah. There's all sorts of stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I know you guys are competitive on the stakes. Surely you got some bragging rights when you go home tonight. Um, I mean, you sell the stakes. Game. Gaming. He he can probably give me a cod, but every other like sports game and I stuff. FIFA, he you got him. Oh yeah, no, I got him at FIFA, Madden, 2K, whatever you want to <laughs> like sports sports stuff. I got him, but he can give me a cod. Like I'm not a big cod dude. I'll play. I'll, I'll do my thing, but like I ain't a big cod dude. Hey, fam, sorry if you've already been asked this, but just a couple months in now for this early enrollee league group, mm -hmm. like what's the mentality you guys have kind of brought to this thing? We're trying to bring a new perspective. Like we're trying to bring, we're trying to bring life. Like we went six, we went six and seven. We don't want to do that again. We want to, we want to bring in a winning, a winning culture once again. Set the standard high and um and just bring, bring back Oklahoma.